close your eyes and watch your breath. And spread thoughts of goodwill to yourself and to everybody around you. Goodwill is the framework for our practice, and it's a form of intelligence. The more we can have goodwill for other people, the more we're likely to be looking for happiness in ways that doesn't harm anybody. And that way our happiness has a better way of being solid. I was reading about people on Wall Street thinking they're the smartest people in the world, and then the hedge fund millionaires or billionaires thinking that the Wall Street people are stupid, that it's the hedge fund people who are really smart. But I'm just defining smart in the wrong way. Smart in the sense of how you can squeeze money out of other people without doing the least amount of effort. If that's what happiness means, then the human life is pretty miserable. And it's pretty dumb in the long run. If your happiness harms other people, then they're not going to stand for it. It's best where your happiness is totally harmless. So, whenever you're tempted to think thoughts of goodwill, or excuse me, thoughts of ill will for other people, try to correct that with goodwill. It may not be as innate as some people say, but it can be developed. We have goodwill for some people already. It's just a matter of learning how to spread that attitude toward everybody. That way we can guarantee that our actions with regard to everybody will be more likely to be skillful. If you genuinely have some good will for somebody, it's hard to mistreat them, hard to abuse them. So think goodwill in all directions. Start with people who are close to your heart and then work out to people who are more neutral and finally to people you don't like and people you don't know. Because in the course of the day you may run into some people you've never met before, so prepare yourself that those people may not be as nice as you'd hope as they come out of the anonymous background. So goodwill for everyone. It's on the basis of this that we can be generous, we can observe the precepts, and we train the mind not to give in to greed, anger, and delusion, all of which will be for our welfare and happiness and be totally harmless. So real intelligence lies in having goodwill, practicing goodwill, developing it, so it becomes, as the Buddha says, a sublime abiding, or Brahma abiding, it lifts the mind above its ordinary human level to something more refined, something more noble. So our happiness becomes more refined and more noble as well.